Hello, welcome back to Bandu Sushi Live Coding. In this episode, uh, we're gonna take a look at a small little tricks uh, that you can do using grease pencil uh, together with a spare chalk add-on. And the note setup is really quite simple. Um, basically, if you have, um, if you wanted to create a lot of wires, uh, let's say you have like this kind of a futuristic uh, scene. Uh, imagine this is like uh, two buildings, and you want to connect. A lot of wires between the two buildings to create a scene uh, to add some kind of details uh, this is uh, one ways you can do it so this is a completed scene and I, I actually started with a with a grease pencil and then I am using the cloth um, simulations in blender and then to create uh, this setup so I'll create I'll, I'll start from scratch uh, maybe I already deleted the grease pencil uh, I'll just delete everything um, and I deleted the grease pencil and I have a lot of wires objects here. I wanted to select, okay, select by type, um, select the curve, just delete all. Actually, in this case, I can just select all and then delete. So everything's got deleted except for these two buildings because they are also procedural. So let me save this first. So this is wires demo. So these two buildings are completely procedural. Uh, the wires won't be uh, will be generated procedurally as well. So with the building, really, I can still randomize the placement, and also I can control the the radius. Um, yeah, don't worry about the radius, I guess, and randomize the position of the building until you're kind of happy and then okay um, I think we can we can really work with that one here let's say something like this right and we want to connect the building first of all we, we're gonna do a bit of manual work I will be using grease pencil of course and we will be using a continuous drawing so this is the oops uh, shared run. Uh, this is a grease pencil tab and we want to use a uh, surface instead of view we want to use surface and we want to also use continuous drawing uh, but for now I'll turn it off and just make a line this is an example if I click here and drag it there and release that point seems like to be drawn on the view but it's actually drawn between the two surfaces so that's actually the really cool uh, really cool part um, let's not make our wires like that let's say we, we, we draw from this point to that point if you use the drawing it looks like that but if you use line this will actually connect the two points if you don't believe me I'll do it again oops so line this between this and this line between this and that for example so each one of lines is connecting the two surface so that's I think uh, really really cool and we can take advantage of that so continuous drawing and draw line so that's uh, where we're gonna draw uh, the line you know so you can go to oops you can go with, uh, to different angles of the camera. Um, your scene, actually, perhaps your scene also doesn't need to be 3D. Um, you can kind of create an illusion of 3D. Maybe your scene is just like uh, something that you use, you use a projection mapping and or maybe from from 3D scanner or maybe something just like a scene with, uh, with depth. So I just create a bunch of these lines and we're gonna turn the lines into a real objects and wires very very soon so I'm quite happy with that so it's I think the longer the wires the better okay look at that so that's actually 3d right save this oops I have to stop the con uh, right click I think stopping the continuous drawing Oh, actually 
Please pencil line session hold and drag escape to end. Okay, escape to end. Save. Always save. Create a new blend. Now with all these lines, it's very easy to create uh, the an edge, right? Polygon edge. It's actually by using this setup. And this setup is the, the one that I use all the time. If you shift A and then GP, you get a GP plus and GP plus exactly will generate this for you. So I'm just gonna pick a, a, grease, pen, a grease pencil and look at the result. So wire for wires, you want a little bit of more details. So I'm gonna have something like that just for the demonstration. So that's gonna be the result. And and you up in in my case I'm just create update so now it's generating all this uh, chi wires called chi and I will stop the updating so this this part is done I'm not gonna process that anymore but the next part is uh, what's interesting uh, perhaps I need to display the lines okay and get rid of the grid for now. So this is the result from our grease pencil drawing. Um, there we go, that's the grease pencil. And that's when I turn it off. So it's already a, a real polygon mesh objects. And the idea here is that I will be using cloth uh, simulation. And I will pin the first and the last. Pinning the first and the last is the, the trick here. So for each of, of these wires, I will I will select them by this group and then I select them, right? Uh, so they become uh, lines using polyline viewer. They become a curve. But for now, I have to do something first for each of these mesh. I need to see the, the, the weight. There is no vertex group here, but I will I will create it here. So I will create it by going into this this guy right here and going through each and every wires. And by doing this, I'm actually adding a weight for the first and the last. This is actually from the old trick that I, I did as, at some point rock line cloth pinning but this one is doing it only for single objects what I'm doing here by going through um, every single item is actually generating the weight um, yeah similar to this you can download the the old example so so now um, each of this line already have uh, vertex weighting it's really doing this uh, it select the first and the last points, turn it into um, an index. Um, I'll show you. This is clearer if we look at the result. There you go. One zero one zero 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 one, and even clearer if you look at this uh, text text object. And look at the value one zero 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 one so the first and last so for each different length of the wires it's generating this weighting for us automatically okay so that's also handy we are pretty much done except that the wire that looks very stiff we need to select our objects and select our uh, shift G and select the group so I'm selecting all the wires uh, and I want to give this uh, cloth modifier and for the cloth modifier I hold um, options and click and then I, I'm gonna select SV V group so that's uh, selecting our vertex groups that's being generated on the fly over here shift G select our group Control L, select all the modifier. So for all, for each one of these, 
I'm connecting the same modifier. So I believe I'm done. And so if I go to the beginning and then run this, our wire is done. So this is, uh, so that's the trick basically. Um, yeah, so you can make a lot more wires and the wire cre the wires creations, the, 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 the first and the end thing, that can be procedural as well, like creating ray cast or something. Uh, maybe I'll show you that at some point. But for now, like using grease pencil to connect the surface between the two objects, that's actually the trick here. It's like a little bit like Spider-Man, you know, you have the start point and the end point, you're swinging your, you're shooting your spider web. Um, yeah, I really like this setup, I guess. Um, we know exactly how many uh, wires we are creating. And then from this uh, this original mesh, uh, we we also generate this curve using this. So the whole thing is procedural, even though it involves a couple of steps, and in, you all you are also in control or using grease pencil to draw the the, the wires. So by at this any time in points, you can you can delete this. See, I'm still using 2.79 to generate this, but uh, let's see the result using uh, 2.8. File, open, desktop, wires, wires demo. So that's the result. All the stretch of nodes doesn't work anymore with 2.8. Uh, there are still uh, some developer, maybe just Zevi is converting into 2.8. But now we have this, and we can use the latest matcap. That looks really cool on this guy. And what's even cooler is the the randomness. Random. Okay. So we are gonna keep this for for the wallpaper. Select. What's the what's the deselect select none? Okay. Oh, I guess I'm gonna keep this one. All right. So hopefully you find this useful. Yeah, you can see how this can translate from the old Blender, and you still get the scene. And yeah, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know if you have any question or suggestion. Uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.